what is up globe trotters what i like to do for the geoguesser daily challenge we are incepted into a location somewhere in the world we have to move around figure out where we are um chat can help me we get five of these three minutes a piece you're scored based on distance but folks just remember no googling please because that's cheating help me figure out where we are coming off of a 22,187 just off the gold line we had a great day yesterday let's keep it going folks are you ready? That is India, I think. Oh, we got cows. We got random cows in the middle of the road. India? Totally India. We got cow. <laughs> All right, what part of India, folks? Where do you think we are? Can we get a city? Dude, cows are everywhere. All right, well, feeling real confident about India. So many cows. Yes. A shock hotel. Come on, let's get a city. Oh, don't tell me this is the end of the road. No. No. I need more road. There we go. That's right. All right, I'm very confident on the country, but I don't have anything better than that. Southeast. Hmm. Can anyone read the script? Final minute. I don't think we're getting it. Would guess coastal, no mountains in view. I don't think it's south because they speak Tamil. That doesn't look like Tamil. All right, so we're going to go with Mumbai then. I can do Mumbai. We'll see how close. We got the plonk. Let's see how close we are. New Delhi in the north would be more mountainous, I'd figure. That is 10 seconds in the round, folks. Let's hope it was outside of Mumbai. India is a decently large country. Hyderabad. Oh, it was Ahmedabad. There you go, folks. Ahmedabad, outside of Gujarat. Okay, not the worst for an India plonk. Question number two. All right. What are we thinking here? Africa? These folks look somewhat African. These folks also on the side of the road look somewhat African. I believe we're in Africa, folks. Can we do better than it? Math to law with the prime sub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Math. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support, guys. Just want you guys to know that even if I don't tell you I love you, I just want you to know. I think we are getting passed on the left, so I think it is right-hand drive. Northeast South Africa. Okay. Maybe Eswatini. 
Hmm. Well, if it is Eswatini, that's pretty good because it's teeny. Huh? Uh, I hope it's Eswatini so I can make that joke in the title. The dirt looks Polish. Well, we're on this sort of featureless plane with no road signs. Confident it's Africa. Other than that, I can't really help. I almost got to play you on Friday. Instead, at the same time, you're playing with Kilted. Wish me luck. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Maybe Kenya. Speak of the devil. You said you're playing Kilted. Well, thank you. Thank you, Kilda, with the raid. Oh, baby. How was your stream, bro? Why are you taller than me? I also have a bigger... <laughs> Bad Brad Dad with the push-ups. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Throw some push-ups in after the Geo Guesser. All right, what are we doing, folks? We doing Botswana? We doing S A? We doing Eswatini? Somewhere in the middle, outside of Mokopene? We put the plonk in. Oh, baby! It was, it was Eswatini, and I didn't pick it. Oh no! Oh no! Well, there you are, folks. I like Eswatini because it's. Teeny. Question number three. Another featureless highway, except we have some mountains in the background. Less confident about Africa here, but it still could be Africa. Let's see. That first one just gave me Africa vibes right away. I was going to say Eswatini meme. What a coincidence. All right. We got a truck. We got a truck with language on it. The language appears to be Spanish. Veliculo Longo. So South America? That's Mount Doom for Mordor. Ooh, Spud would know. It's Portuguese. Okay, so Brazil? Ah, interesting. Is there a dry part of Brazil? That's actually really helpful if it's Portuguese. Is there a dry part of Brazil where? In the, in, what, western Brazil, right? Southwestern Brazil would be dry? Let me take a quick look on the map. Southwest, like here, right by Paraguay. East. The dry part of Brazil is anywhere you've visited Gotham. I don't get the joke. Why would the part that I visit? You know the parts that I visit are always soaking wet, my friend. I think he must be projecting. This is what an odd job. This is what an odd job picker would say. Because he can't win at Goldeneye fairly, right? So he has to play odd job. Bato Grasso or Goiás, more north. Okay, like here. You think like outside of Brasilia? Is that actually the, the pick? Goiana? All right. Well, we'll try that. I don't think we see a single fucking street. Yeah, I know. Kilted is an odd job picker. It's it's really upsetting because he seems like such a cool guy. And then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, man, why would you need to cheat at Golden Eye 64? Anyways, we got a sign. We got a sign, folks. Do we have some city names? Okay. Bom Jesus de Lapa. Peneus Bom Jesus. I'm thinking this is Bahia. Where's Bahia? Where? Let's get it. Bahia. I don't know where that is. The tires of Jesus, yes. Where is Bahia, folks? Northeast. Didn't get it in time. Thank you for helping. We got somewhere in Brazil. Uh, 2,526. Question number four. 
And we have Polish, Hungarian, no, uh, Slovak, Slovak language. Yeah. Slovak language off the bat. We feel in Slovakia from this guys, not Poland. Not Slovak. Okay. Let's go back to this sign. So is it Hungarian then? Namestaya. This first word looks Slavic, not Hungarian. So I'm thinking, could it be Czech? Maybe Serbian. Hmm. It looks like a Slavic language, but that accent. Well, first let's get the language. Okay. Romanian. It's not Romanian. It's a, it's a Slavic language. Romania is a romance language. Serbian. Okay. We're thinking Serbian. Serbian is a Slavic language. Not Czech or Slovak. I speak both. Okay. So we're going with Serbian. That's cool. I like, we're narrowing it down, folks. It looks like we actually have a decently large town in the back. Okay. So we thinking, we're thinking Serbian, Serbo-Croatian. Yes. I like Serbian. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go with that. Now, what town? Was there a web address on that sign? RS? What is RS? Is that Serbia? We got it, guys. We got the country. Good job. Thankfully, Serbia is not massive. Let's let's guess Belgrade and then move around, see if we can narrow it down a little bit more. Awesome. RS is Serbia. Good to know. Iga Petro. Yeah, well, we got the Serbian flag too. Hi. Oh, what does the bus? What does the bus say? Nothing. The bus says. Silverice. That's a city, isn't it? Silverice. I just put the plonk right in the capital. And if we can find the Silverice town, if it is indeed a town, that's time in the round. I, th I hope we got it. Sumerice, which is where? Assume I don't know. <laughs> Assume I don't know, guys. What does this say? We're outside of a town called Kragusevich in southern Serbia. Not bad, though. 4,687 for the final question. I Googled, but I can't say. That's right. Johnny is best is worst if he's Googling. Uh, tourist drive turn left. Looks like left-hand drive. And it's dry. I'm getting Australia from this. Severn. Glen Innes Severn. That's blocked off. Aussie. Yeah, I'm getting Aussie from this. Yeah, we got the Holden. We got the Holden Ute. Telltale Aussie right there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We got Church Street. What town are we in? Tourist Drive. Perth? Look on the streets for Curlza. See, if you pick Perth and you're not Perth, it's nowhere near the rest of the country is the problem. Chapel Theater. They put movies. Okay, we're in a town called Glen Innes. Does anyone know where Glen Innes, Australia is? Glen Innes, Australia. Okay, this will help. Australian Standing Stones, Grafton. Gwider Highway, where's the B-76 to the A-15? B-76 to the A-15. Route 11, Eastern Australia, B-76 to the A-15. There's the A-15 right there. A-15, okay, oh baby. A-15 goes from Newcastle. And we're looking for the B-76, B-8. Does A-15 go outside of Newcastle? Does it go south? All right, we found the A-15.
Tamworth. A15. We're looking for B76. B78. Are we getting closer? A15, A15, A15. B76. Clan Innis. Oh, we found the town. Oh, baby. Let's find the theater. Let's find the theater. Oh, baby. I want to nail this one down. And Glen Innis doesn't look super large. Historical district. Oh, we got to be close. Glen Innis Church. Annie's Fish and Chips. Charlie's Chicken. Yeah, we're looking for that theater. Looking for that theater. Oh, baby. Come on. We're on Church Street, right? Where's Church Street? Twitter Highway, B76. Where's Church Street? I think we're close, guys. We're quite close. Might not have a perfect score. Oh, three off. Three off for the final. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, finishing with 19,815 points. Thank you for helping me. Very, very nice. Hi, Pete. I like your videos. Thanks, Storm Malicious. I like you, too. Not a bad score at all. We are going to see if we can get the world all. That is Slovenia, right? No, that is Bulgaria. I always get those two confused. They look almost the same. Yeah. Okay. What are the neighbors of Bulgaria? You got Greece. Greasy. You got North Macedonia. You got Romania. You got Serbia. And finally, Turkey. Cool. Now we are going with the capital. What is the capital of Bulgaria? Sofia. Yep. What is the flag? Ooh, what is the flag? All right, so that's Turkey. Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay, so that's Turkey, that's Serbia, that's Albania, that's Kosovo, that's Greece, that's North, North Macedonia, that is Romania, that's Bulgaria. Yeah. Currency. Population. How many Bulgarians live in Bulgaria? 10 to 12? I, you have to be. No, 5 to 10. Under 10 million Bulgarians. What is the currency used? It's the Lev, right? Lev, let's go. Bulgaria, officially the Republic of Bulgaria is a country in southeastern Europe. It is situated on the eastern flank of the Balkans, bordered by Romania, Serbia, North Macedonia, Greece, and Turkey, and the Black Sea. Bulgaria covers a territory of 110,000 square, square kilometers and is the 16th largest country in Europe, the capital Sofia and largest city. The other major cities are Ploiv, Ploidiv, Varna, and Borges. Folks, thank you for helping me. I have fun. I hope you do too. Check these out. They are now being posted on the new uh, second YouTube channel along with um, we're going to be doing uh, GeoGuessr Daily Challenge videos. We're going to be doing the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. We're going to be doing the Risk News Q&A and anything else I feel like posting. Uh, go on sub to Free Pete and get more of this sort of thing if you're into it. Thank you, folks. I appreciate you. And wherever you find yourself in this big old world, I wish you the very best.